look, man, I get you. Just freaking quit. Just quit and move on with your life and make life easier. Why are you freaking putting up with all this crap for so little return? I understand why people quit. I understand these thoughts because I have them freaking frequently. Don't worry about it, man. Like, I speak in these videos all the time. I'll let you guys know as much as I, I, I think at the time of the recording, right? But my brain is constantly thinking about all these things. And don't get it twisted, man. I have my freaking dark days as well where I just want to freaking punch the wall and get frustrated. It's frustrating as hell, man. You know, I, I told you guys this story a few times, you know, in the past. I bumped into a friend I hadn't seen for years, you know, and last time I saw him, he was training, you know, maybe not as seriously as me, but he was going to the gym. When I finally bumped into him, caught up with him, you know, he basically said to me, you know, what's new with you? And I said, look, I'm, you know, training still. Uh, that's probably the most exciting thing that's happening in my life other than my kids and my family, you know. So we started talking about that and I asked him, do you train? And he said, no way, man. It's a complete waste of time. He basically went on to explain that gymming or physical attributes, you know, getting stronger, these gains that we obsess about, it's such a inefficient thing, man. If you put any, any, that much time in any other freaking area of your life, you're going to have more return. You know, that thing stuck with my head ever since then, like freaking five, six years ago now that I, that I had that chat with him. So he's given it up. You know, he's putting all of his efforts, maybe the hobby time effort into other things. You know, so I understand, man, especially as we grow older, man, like, you know, I remember a time where you used to, like, literally get up and go into a full sprint in the morning. No, no stretching, no nothing, just going to a full sprint and play basketball for 12 hours. Not a stretch, not a cool down, not a warm up, nothing, just freaking play. If I did that, I would, I would bilaterally rupture both of my freaking ankles, uh, uh, Achilles, probably tear my hamstring, <clears throat> get a hernia, all that stuff would just fall apart. So I get it, the physical stuff gets harder and harder. You know, we become less elastic. You know, we get stronger, like that whole dad strength. I get that. But we're, we're, we need to spend more and more time on these prehab, you know, rehab top, you know, uh, exercises, keeping the freaking pains and strains away and all that stuff. But that's that's just the physical side, man. Like the, the biggest thing on my mind is the social, the, the, the maturity side, right? As we grow older, we have more commitments. Now, I don't want to belittle anybody that's at uni because I remember being busy as hell at uni. I remember having those thoughts. I remember having those thoughts, but it's, it's, a, it's a different ball game when you have a family and kids and a mortgage and you got to do all this stuff around. Like my mom and dad are not around to do my lawn and, you know, do all these other things that the chores, like, you know, chores, worries. Uh, this morning, or actually last night, so I had a pretty good workout yesterday, whatever, after night duty. Um, last night, I started getting sick. Started getting sick, man. I uh, started getting a headache, runny nose, congestions, headaches, full, you know, sinuses loaded up. And I thought to myself, man, screw this shit again. Again, sick, man. Unbelievable. But it makes sense. You know, both my, my son hasn't been to school this whole week. He's been sick. He got sick last Friday. Literally the whole last week he went to school, picked up a billion and one bug. And then he spent his freaking weekend, his free time being sick. And then that progressed into more sickness. And now it's Thursday and he still can't go to school. And I have a couple of night shifts mixed in with a bit of training. Unity you know, goes down. I'm kissing him head to toe as, as I, I'm well aware. Don't kiss a sick child, but screw that. That's how I get sick. And there's no way I could not go a day without kissing him and her. You know, both of the kids are, are, are snotty at the moment. And so, bam, I wake up this morning and I'm feeling shit. Feeling like crap. And so I have not eaten anything today other than a few mandarins. I've drunk probably seven, eight liters of water just trying to flush out this crap that's in my sinuses. Neck down, I feel all right. You know, a little bit flat fatigued and whatever, all that. But I'm not, you know, coughing up crap. I'm not feeling feverish. I'm not any of that. It's just all in my head. And I'm thinking to myself, screw this shit, man. Not only is it freaking almost impossible to put on the damn gains, right? Especially at the level that I'm at. I don't know. Maybe my genetic limit is lower than normal or whatever the case might be. I, I keep watching Instagram. I see these 15-year-olds jacking up 210 for, for, for a triple. Um, I don't know what it is, man. Like it's, it's, it's hard to progress. And then you have all these other auxiliary stuff, like the side stuff in life that's just normal. Night shifts, kids getting sick, responsibilities, getting up at 4.30 in the morning, blah, 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 blah. You fight over all of that crap. And then you get sick three or four or five times a year. And the sickness is part of it. If you guys have kids, if you understand having a five-year-old and a three-year-old, you know, man, like 
they are the freaking pandemic facilitators, man, basically. Like, they're going to these childcare reception areas, man, schools, and they just pick up the best shit and bring it home, and they screw you over. It's just the way it is, man. Like, all of my friends as well, you know, get sick often. But for me, because I'm pushing my body physically on a freaking daily basis, ah, it's so frustrating, man. I have these moments where I have really good periods of training, and then this shit brings me down. And I want to stick my head through a brick wall with frustration, but it is what it is, man. Like my heart, my mind, my soul wants to push on, you know, get the gains, progress, test this stuff that's on my head, in my mind. And then I just get stumped by some of these things that just you call life. It's frustrating. And so I understand why a lot of people freaking just quit. You know, to this day, I still get people come up to me, man. You know, I'll tell you something, man. Like before YouTube, before this thing happened for me, before I started uploading this, these videos to to the platform, all this stuff that I did was private. And I trained a lot even before. It might not have been every day, but I, this this is a long-term thing for me, man. I've been at this for like seven, eight years now, seriously, like this. You know, seriously, you know, strength training. People didn't know anything about it, right? You know, what are you doing? Oh, squats or whatever. People didn't understand. But now that this stuff is public now, I'm uploading these things every single day. People, Some, some people look at me and they're like, you're insane. You must be insane doing this every single day. How do you make the time? Like, seriously, dude, like you're a father, you're a nurse, you're doing this thing every day, you're uploading videos, you're, you're trying to be active in the comments. How are you doing all this? They almost look at me like I'm a, I'm a crazy man. Why are you doing this, man? Like, you know, what's the point? And, you know, moments like this, I think to myself, why am I doing this, man? Oh, my God. I understand why you know, mid thirties, late for like, you know, late thirties, early forties, men just freaking get lazy. Screw this shit. I'll be sick five times this year with my kids. Instead of going to the gym, I'll have a couple of beers and a pizza, watch a movie and then go to sleep, go, go back to work tomorrow. I understand why people do this, man. It's just, you got to put so much freaking time into something that gives you nothing back. Basically at a certain point, like if you want to go from a 200 kilo squat to 250, you have to put in a hundred times more effort than getting from 150 to 200. The, the, the effort becomes exponential. You got to start watching everything you do, man. Or should I kiss my child? Because if I get sick, it's going to you know, screw my block up. This block of training. Man, screw that shit, man. You know, son, please empty your nostrils into my mouth. I want to kiss you and then I'll get sick. That's how I look at it. You know, it's frustrating though. You know, obviously it's, it's you know, you put in a lot of effort, you expect returns. But every year for the last billion years, man, I look at the training log at the end. Even the freaking phone wants to scream me today. That's the kind of day I'm having. I don't know why it freaking stopped recording, but it started recording and I went on for another freaking minute without realizing it's not freaking recording. Have days like this, man. And I'm not, I'm not re-recording this. Screw it. Freaking frustrated. But anyway, as I was saying, for the last billion years, I reviewed the freaking journal at the end of every year and I look at it and most of the time I'm, I'm, I'm unhappy with the progress, right? And it's not just the squat every day part last three years. It's even before. And you look at back and you look at the intricacies of every month. And you're like, oh, I got sick here. I got sick there. I did this. I had too many nights here, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I, I, I don't know how you're supposed to make progress when, when these things always stump you, man. The training alone is difficult to get right, man. In a vacuum, training alone is hard to get the biology to respond to the stimulus. But then you put on this other crap and, and you know, how are you going to do it? How are you going to freaking do it? <sighs> Whatever, man. It's... For me, you know, I have these thoughts and I, you know, speak them out. And then I calm down and I realize, just freaking exist. Go into the freaking garage and exist in there. That's it. Um, because if you quit, what then? What are you going to do? How are you going to replace that time that you spend in your garage? How are you going to replace that time with something else? You're going to go play video games? Are you going to go learn to play an instrument, musical instrument? You're going to watch some movies? You're going to, what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? You're going to go to the pub? You're going to hang out with some mates? Yeah, that, those are all good options. Struggle or no struggle, man. Quit or no quit. You got to spend your time somehow. And, and, and most days, I enjoy this. Even though life wants to screw you in the ass, every opportunity that it gets, you got you to push on. Whatever. I'm approaching a day 1,000. And I've had many of these freaking moments like I'm having right now. Just pure frustration. You know, what is it? What is it? 997 today, whatever it is today. You know, I'm thinking to myself, all right, you know, I'll have a good day on day 1000. I'm going to be sick on day 1000. There. 
if that is not a sign of how shit all of this crap is, I don't know what is. I don't know what is, man. Oh, yeah, it's there a thousand. What are you going to do, Ivan? I'm going to be snotting up a tissue there. Um, that's what I'm doing. I'm going I'm to get a freaking tissue box and I'm going to empty it out just blowing my nose in front of you. Because that's what life is, man. He likes to screw you right in there, man. That's, that's what it's about. Bloody hell, man. Whatever. After I say all of that crap, I catch myself and I'm like, dude, relax. Freaking relax. You're a blessed individual. You're pissed off, but you're a blessed, pissed off individual. So it is what it is. Just don't quit, man. That's the, the bottom line. Just embrace the suck. Suck it. When somebody says to you, how long you'll be training? You say, a hundred years. Why don't you squat better? Because I'm shit. I embrace the suck. I embrace being shit. You know, I'll tell you something, man. I'll tell you this. Is it harder for somebody like, you know, at the end of the bench in the NBA, right? Getting one minute, you know, one minute a game. Is it harder for him or is it harder for LeBron? Who is it harder for? Who is it harder for? Somebody that's always getting gains, right? Always having response to his training, right? Whatever he does, he wins. Whatever he does, he excels. Is it easier for him to exist and play? Or is it for the guy that's shit physically, no physical gifts, and he has to, 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 to work so hard just to hang on to the last freaking seat of that bench? Who's having an easier time? Because if I was, you know bouncing around like a maniac here, putting six plates on the bus, squatting the shit out of that on the box. I'd be like, hell yeah, man, this is fun. I'm winning. I'm freaking winning. But I'm not doing that. So I'm, I'm a shit. I'm shit, right? So what keeps coming, what, what makes the guy keep coming back to that shit? Is, is losing fun? Is losing fun? If you enjoy losing, man, then I don't know what the hell to tell you, man. But anyway, you'll probably succeed in life if you enjoy in, 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 in losing. As funny as that sounds. Because you'll keep rocking up. Keep taking that freaking, you know, uppercut to the chin. Keep, you know, a, a, a chin of steel. You can't knock this guy out. Keep knocking him, man. Yeah, knock me, man. You know what I'll do, man? I'll walk in the ring. You give me everything you got. Blast me in the chin, in the guts, all of that. And when you get tired, I'll just push you over and you fall. That's how I'm going to win. I'm going to win through attrition. Anyway, I kind of apologize for, for tonight's video, man. Because I'm pissed, as you can see. Because I'll probably be even more sicker tomorrow. So it's just, the, the thing that pisses me off is that I go to work and I look forward to days off. I get days off and I spend them in bed. <sighs> and then I get nice and fresh just before I get back to work and hit it again. <laughs> One year, two year, three year, four year, five years. I'm 60 freaking years old. Wasting my freaking time. I'm not wasting my freaking time. But I'm not improving. It doesn't feel like it. Especially when your guts are on fire. You really want to have a good training session. But life says no. Anyway, fellas and ladies. There's a few ladies out there now. Appreciate all of you. Appreciate the support. Appreciate you freaking for staying all the way through the video. And listening to, to this crap that I'm saying. Um, special thanks to all the guys on the screen. Appreciate all of you guys in the comments on Discord, Instagram. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.